Hi, welcome back. Today I actually want to do just some overview of the Raw Therapy 5.11 as it now has support for the Panasonic Lumix S52 and S52X raw files. So with this open now, you can actually see this is a wedding that I shot. See if I go here, it is a RW2 file. And as you can see, it actually opens the file. And if I open this, it says Panasonic DC-S5M2, Lumix S50 1.8. So now I can actually edit my Lumix S52 files on Linux. And this is a very high ISO image, obviously. And I had the aperture open a lot, but I did focus on this guy right here. Something else I did, I did install Adobe DNG Converter because I was using that to convert files to DNG initially. But now I can go in and I can select the color profiles from Adobe DNG Converter and apply the color profiles for the camera from the Adobe software. So there is that. And I do have Hald C LUT installed. So I'm just going to go here to Kodak Portra 400 200 or 2. Turn that on. That's going to bump that up a bit. I'm just going to lower the mixture of it a little bit. Go here. But the biggest, biggest change that I have in this program that I like is it now raw therapy has the tone equalizer which for the longest time was only in the raw therapy fork called art raw converter now it is actually in raw therapy so now you can actually adjust your highlights down you can adjust your whites down so i'm just gonna bring the white down a little bit probably do the highlights a bit more there's that. Bump the contrast a bit in the image, but I am going to adjust my white balance some here. Probably go from the window light side of his face, but that doesn't seem to look very good. So if I go fluorescent, or not fluorescent, but tungsten, that's actually the lighting in that area. But I will have to whiten it warm it up just a tad just to get nice uh, skin tones here which they seem to be lining up a little bit with this dash line over here in the vector scope maybe just warm it up just a tad bit more but that is that that is one of the things i do like um there is more stuff in this program it does have uh obviously some very specific Things that you can do, you know, you they now have this selective editing tab here. So let me see. Let's just find another image here. I just want to see what I can do selectively on this image here. So let's add something here. So spot type. You have eclipse, rectangle. I'll just do an eclipse. So can I... Alrighty. So I've got this, so maybe I'll go, I'll go here on this here. we got the spot size. Turn on additional settings. You've got all the gradient stuff here that you can adjust. All right, now we're going to, I'm going to add a tool for this specific area here. Let's do something that's very easy to see in the grand scheme of things. Let's do a shadows and highlights with the tone equalizer. So we can adjust stuff a little bit here. Make sure this whole overall tool is turned on. There we go. So, you know, editing just that small area. You know, you're just fine tuning different areas. And this is actually really nice. You can adjust specific points depending on the tonality. Can adjust your details. This is the pivot point. 
But let's go back here really quick. Let's go more toward, let's see. Let's just get an image here. Decent looking image. I'm gonna go ahead, I want to add my camera standard. Go to custom. I'm gonna go ahead and add the Kodak preset. Turn that on. I am gonna bring the filter down just a bit. Let me go here. I, you know, I'm gonna leave it the way it is, actually. Let's go here. Let's go here for this new spot. So it's allowing eclipse and rectangle. So there we go. And that's the spot that it allows. Uh, let's do eclipse. Gonna make sure you have the tool selected. Just gonna adjust it out a little bit. So you got your spot size. I'm just gonna let it see more of it. We'll leave it on a normal spot there. But let's go ahead and go here. I wanna do the tone equalizer. So yeah, we'll leave it on the equalizer for now. Obviously, turn on the tool so you can selectively edit just where you want. So the spot seems to be affecting wherever the spot is because as you can see, it's not really going outside onto these, uh, these panels back here, which are fairly close to the range on him. So I'm just uh, making a few adjustments here. See how that looks. It's not a huge adjustment, but let's do... We could do a sharpening, but you know what? Let's do a color. One to the current spot. <laughs> so, you know. And look at that. It's definitely sitting only on, on his face. So... We're going to go back up to the spot type here. If I increase the range of the spot, maybe bring this out. Yeah, yeah, you see that. So you know what? Let me have it out like that and lower the spot. Okay. So it is affected by this also. So you just kind of got to fine tune it in where you want it. But that's actually pretty cool. But this is one of the things that really excited me was the ability to adjust my raw files inside of Linux instead of going under, under Windows. You know, this is just one of the things I wanted to do. Just going to bump the contrast a bit. Drop them highlights down. Drop the whites down. Let me see. Let me go to a, a waveform here. Yep. Adjust that a bit, but it's pretty much fine right where it is. And yes, this was a very dimly lit area and the sun was going down. So pushing that ISO pretty high on this camera, it was at 6400 ISO. But honestly, for noise like this, not really an issue. And when you print this stuff out, that noise disappears. But, you know, that's pretty good noise level for a camera of this caliber, 24 megapixels. But, you know, most people are not going to be pixel peeping the images. They're going to see them like this printed out maybe in a book. Uh, this is a wedding. I was actually going to print out a, uh, a small uh, wedding album, actually, just to get some stuff on there. Let's see. But, you know, outdoors, let me turn this on. Yeah, 200 ISO. Not really any noise. Anyone from Denver knows where this probably is. It's a uh, People call it River North Art District, but uh, I know it is. Five Points <laughs> is uh, the area in Denver. Uh, not 
when I was a child, it was a very unsafe neighborhood. It technically still is, but as you can see, it's reading both of my lenses and I can load the, the lens correction profiles into art also. So that's, or into raw, I can. As you can see, it's reading the lenses that were used. Um, mostly it was the 51.8, but some of the 20 to 60. But I can load the lens correction profiles into raw therapy also. But I didn't really want to go too much in detail. This is just really just an update for people that are using the, the newer Panasonic Lumix S52, S52X cameras that are really more video cameras because they do have active cooling in them. But, uh, you know, I do use this camera for 6K open gate recording. It works phenomenal for that, actually. But let me know if you want to see a potential future photo shoot behind the scenes and then an edit in raw therapy uh hopefully dark table eventually gets support for this but we'll have to wait and see but like subscribe comment below and uh, let me know if any future videos you want to see um i did just have a live stream i did and actually uh messed up on my audio stuff because i separate my audio in inside of uh, OBS. In fact, let me just bring this up. <laughs> my audio properties are like this. So my desktop audio is in track one, mic is in track two, and in recording, you can actually record two separate tracks. But when you're streaming, you have to select track one or track two or track three. So you get one track. So in the future, I now know I got to make sure I got to go into OBS and make sure my mic is on track one and then my mic audio will come through. So look forward to that in some future live streams because I do want to try to live stream at least once a week. Uh, it'll honestly be like a Linux Q&A. You can ask questions regarding Linux and stuff, but... More than likely, I'll be playing a video game when I'm doing that instead of just sitting on the desktop. Um, if people want to see Linux stuff, I can certainly show that in a live stream. But let me know down in the comments. Uh, like, subscribe, share the video, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.